So there is. Uh, how do you cut like your basket? Uh, hi Atsuko, thank you very much for coming today uh, to Yoyogi Park. Uh, it's great to see you as always. <laughs> So uh, today we're here at uh, Earth Garden Festival in Yoyogi Park. Uh, it's a really fun event. I just want to tell the people who are watching us what we're doing. Uh, so we're in this beautiful festival with lots of stands. It's a nice festival with like sustainable and handmade crafts from all over the world. So we're really happy to be here. There are a lot of pet owners, a lot of kids and people enjoying the beautiful weather to today. So, uh, as maybe some of you know, we are making some products for cats and dogs, especially. So they are handmade, uh, handmade baskets. So this is one of an example I can show you. They are all handmade, and we use a special uh, material to make these. And this is called a t-shirt yarn. So many people ask me, what is t-shirt yarn? As they can tell from the name, of course, obviously you can have an old t-shirt that you can cut, and uh, with this uh, strings you can make some craft, you can knit something. But we, when we use it in the industrial sense, it means a yarn that is made from leftovers of textile production. Like, let's say in a factory, there's a leftover of two tons of gray. So what they do, they cut this uh, two tons of gray material and they make balls out of it. Mm -hmm. And then uh, they sell it in uh, these kind of uh, products. And this is called t-shirt yarn. So the super plus side of it is that it's an upcycled material. So that's why I choose to use this material because uh, it would be something that would be just thrown away and it would be a totally waste. So I like the idea of using this. So as, I, as soon as I started making um, products for myself, that was the first idea. I was making baskets for my own storage and then slowly my cat started getting into the baskets like all the time. Like I was like get out of my basket, that's my basket and they were just like inside it all the time wanting to use it so they kind of pushed me into making more. Okay, I said okay this is for you so I made one more and one more and then many people encouraged me to, uh, to focus on this. And uh, so, yeah, the, my cats were in it and they love it. They love to sleep in it. And uh, the dogs also and the cat also, they always need their own territory in the house. Even, of course, they feel at home at their house. They still need their own little corner to put their blanket, to put their toy. Or if it's noisy in the house, they want to know they have their own place. So it's really a must when you have a pet, they need their own bed. Mm -hmm. And the ideal is like in the house you have a couple of them, like in the cat's case you have one next to the window, it's really good. And maybe if it's cool, cold weather, one next to, I don't know, the heater. If it's a hot day, you want to have one that is in a cooler place of the house. So yeah, it's, that's how the, it evolved. That's good. That's a good idea. How long does it take to make one basket? So that's a really professional question. Uh, of course, these are handmade, so I can also show you. Uh, now I can't find it anyway. Yeah, we make it by crochet hook. So I have a group of very talented and very experienced uh, weavers who do uh, this crochet for me. I'm really lucky to have a wonderful team. Mm -hmm. So um, it takes around three days to finish one. And uh, it's, a very, it's a very special one. So you can see it's very sturdy. That means it takes a lot of work actually to do it. Mm -hmm and uh, it's a very good quality and we are the only company in the world who makes uh, this product with upcycled and handmade and uh, washable uh, products so we are really only and we are focused only on pet baskets so we care about every inch of uh, our production we care about uh, how the pet feels comfortable and we care that the owner also is happy to have this object mm -hmm. lying around in the yes. house. Yeah.
So that means you 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 make uh, any shape you you we want to, or you know some sometimes the doggy doesn't like to have a round shape, and uh, they like to over shape. Or you, can you make it? Yeah, we are so lucky that we do have the techniques of uh, making uh, custom orders. Uh, of course, many owners do want to have custom made, so they want a specific height, they want a specific color. So we are really uh, serving our customers in the best way in creating the shapes they want and mm -hmm. the motifs and patterns. So we are always uh, open and we can do anything. <laughs> oh, sounds fantastic.